Hey guys, today I'm going to be reacting to Total German interviews for this special part. Okay, ready? Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, 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 Total German special. Well, part of it, anyways. I'm here with the unique trio Ludwig von Kupa, Professor E. Gad, and the former magician now reformed Trooper. Well, considering this is the weirdest set of people to have a coherent <laughs> Oh, I remember Egad and Lin aren't the best of friends. Okay, so Trooper, you are the only one who competed in returns, but under the persona Kamek. Please, talk about that. It's hard to explain. So, Bowser was going to go on the show, and the original Kamek was supposed to accompany him. But, I couldn't bear the thought of not being with him, so I learned some magic, and took out Kamek myself. Put up a fight, little bugger. With a little cloaking spell and a robe, I became the new Kamek. Just check. So, that, what you're just saying just right now. Bowser would call me Kamek, even though I was Trooper. So, I had to reveal myself before it was too late. This sounds like the excellent base for a sitcom. So, you're telling me opera. that that Trooper this took out so Kamek. Oh, took took out Kamek. So Trooper basically posed as Kamek just to be a Bowser. Okay then. She's not joking here. It is going to be fun destroying the morale of that elderly dimwit. My superior intellect completely outmatches his. Which is why you lost the International Science Award six times and counted. It's an egad of all people. It's okay. Every now and again I send him pictures and holograms just so he knows <laughs> what it's like to have one. <laughs> Shut up, Bloodwig. This is this kind of boy? I'm not joking. Yeah, fed opinions. Yay. Machine 3.7, little planet, version 18. Light of the sun, version 22. 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 Light of the sun,
Alright guys, since I have nothing else better to do, I'm just gonna be right. I just said that I'm gonna do it like this. Alright, let's go. And you're tuning into the Total Drama Special. Well, uh, part of it anyways. I'm here, greeted with that infamous coupling trio, Wendy, Larry, and Morton. Actually! Fuzzies. Hey, my name is Mr. Baseball, and my question for the three of you would be, what would be your strategy going into the game if you were to get on? Well, I won't tell my strategy out loud. That would be stupid. But I can tell you it will involve cheating, lying, and stealing. Hold the gardening. Once again, another stupid question. Hey, I'm calling a cab. Maybe they can take me to the mall. I hope you realize that there is no cab in the world that would be willing to drive here. <laughs> my nerves so much. Which is shut. Uh, no wonder Wendy isn't gonna. No wonder Wendy did make it into season two. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm gonna be reacting to the last one that I haven't seen. Smooth time with Mona. With Mona. Okay, without knowing it, there's actually another one that I haven't seen yet. Seems like such an interesting 
amazing show? I watched a few episodes a few years ago. It just seems so awesome. Awesome is too nice of a word. Brutal is more up the right alley. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I have a high pain tolerance. Like, really high. I'm a cheerleader and motorcycle stunt woman after all. Oh, really? That's interesting. You know, Mona, you seem like one of the most level-headed people this show has seen. I mean, yeah, I'm just a typical hippie teen. <laughs> wow, so don't like don't say that. Well, typical aside hippie from teen. Cheers and stunts, I'm a hardcore movie addict. Like, it's dangerous how many movies I watch. That's sweet. Tell some of your favorite Hardcore movie, movie addict. Addict. Like. You'll even higher shot of getting on to season two. Awesome. Well, <laughs> I can't pick just one favorite, so I'll list some of my top favorites. There's The Massacre in Room 12, a movie about a woman who went crazy but no one knows until it's too late. Oh, and then there's Pitchfork, the trilogy, of course, not the TV show. Then there's Bloody Midnight. Oh, and Spilled Blood, and The Blood on the Wall, and... Oh, God, there were so many! Um, you just listed, one, a bunch of seemingly terrifying horror flicks, and two, ones that no one has ever heard of. Well, I mean they're all underground indie films. So you probably wouldn't have heard of them. But they're all really good. All oh, the blood, though. Duh. I live for gore, man. It's wow. Like that's pretty scary. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's pretty Coffee scary. tainted with the tears of a mortal infant that Reynolds drugged his friend Sam with to turn him into a baby and take over the family throne and death of a king. That had some crazy plot twists, man. Well, it would seem like... You know what? This studio reminds me of that one scene in Anchorage where everyone was forced to compete in a game show, but they were all on a ship, and then the ship sank, and then they were anchored to the floor. Turns out it was the captain all along who staged the entire faux game. But you don't find out his motives until the second movie, which actually turns out to be a prequel to the first one. And then in the third one, which takes place after the events of the first movie, when he's actually Tom's father who drowned in the first movie. Oh, spoilers! Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna watch them anyway. Stop complaining. Oh, now they sound good. Oh, you haven't heard anything yet. No. And Shut up. Bloody Mary, the one with Crystal Stewart as Stella. Mary is all a hallucination. But then halfway through, you find out that Stella's family was messing around in witchcraft and accidentally plagued the city with the Bloody Mary curse. Then Stella commits suicide and slips right into her own nightmare, becoming the reincarnation of Bloody Mary. No way. They tried to make a sequel, but it just was not good. Bad casting. Well, movies aside, how will you play the game if you're chosen? With integrity. I have no intentions of playing a heinous and haphazard game. Have you seen Zomback the musical where everyone tries to be cutthroat and in the end they're the ones with cutthroats? Huh, I do not want that to happen to me. Fair enough. Okay, everyone, that's Mona for you. Plain and simple. We're going to be getting to this video. I would react to um, Dry Bones, but, you know, I don't have enough time. So.